Hey guys, I am back with another Malabar dish. This time it's prawn patiri, which is basically prawns stuffed and steamed in a flavored rice batter. Malabar is famous for its vast spread of cuisines. Since I am basically from Malabar, these dishes hold a special place in my heart. I hope you will also like this. So let's get into business. This is Simi Anwar and welcome to Simi's Kitchen Diaries. Let's look at the ingredients needed for this. Prawns cooked with turmeric, chili and salt. Sliced onions, chopped tomatoes, turmeric powder, crushed ginger, garlic and red chili, chili powder, coriander leaves or cilantro leaves and for making the batter you need Basmati rice or Jiragashala rice which is soaked in water for 4 to 5 hours, craped coconut, shallots and fennel seeds. I have added the soaked and drained rice in the blender. Now we will add the shallots, scraped coconut and fennel. Add water and blend thoroughly to make a loose batter. The batter is ready now. Add salt according to your taste. Mix well. This should be the consistency of the batter. And keep aside. Now we will prepare the filling for this. Heat a pan. Add coconut oil or the oil of your choice. And sliced onions. Onion is the main ingredient for this recipe. The more you add onions, the more tastier it will become. The sweetness of the onion cut across the hotness of the chilli and the chilli powder and give that extra punch to the filling. The onions have become soft and pinkish in colour now. Pop in the crushed ginger, garlic and chilli now. I have crushed this all together in a grinder. Saute well till the raw flavor gets imparted. You can refer my blog simiskitchendiaries.com for the details regarding the quantities and measurements. Onion, ginger, garlic, chili mix is ready now. We will add the turmeric powder and chili powder. Mix well thoroughly. We will saute it until the powders are roasted well and we get a cooked aroma. In goes the tomatoes now. Stir well, add salt, keep mixing. The tomatoes are well blended now. Now we will add the prawns. After adding prawns, you can adjust the salt. You can adjust the salt according to your taste. Our prawn filling is getting ready. You should add the prawns with a bit of stock that will give that flavor to the uh, condiments added in this uh, filling. The prawn is getting ready now and we will add the finely chopped cilantro to this filling and give a good mix. Keep on low flame for 5 minutes so as to infuse the flavor of the coriander leaves or the cilantro leaves also the stock to be dried. And our filling is ready now. Now we will take a round container which is used for steaming. Cover it with foil. Spread ghee evenly on the foil. And pour 2.5 flat of batter to the container and spread evenly. Now layer the prawn mixture on the batter. And cover the mixture with more batter. You can have this as a snack for the evening tea or we often have it for dinner. I've got my steamer ready here. We'll place the container in the steamer and steam for 20 minutes. And the prawn patri is ready now. We'll take out from the container and spread out the foil 
and allow it to cool a bit before cutting it. Cut in your desired shape and enjoy with tea. Hope you like my video. Give a thumbs up if you like and subscribe to my channel. Happy cooking!